What happens when you put lava on bulletproof glass? Or when you put a diamond in the shredder? I don't know, but we're about to find out what happens today. Regular glass, okay. It's clearing all of that. Is that homemade lava? They just casually with lava in their backyard. That don't even make sense to me. I mean, I knew that was gonna happen, but that was a nasty looking. Fire resistance glass. Ooh, that sounds solid now. But will it be solid enough? Mm, I don't think so. How did, why are they camera down here? Is this not dangerous? Or is it solid enough? Lava is weak. That's so weak, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm over here thinking lava is hot, but it can't even break fire resistant glass in under five seconds. So you telling me if a volcano erupts, all I need is some lava resistant glass? It will buy me a few minutes? Man, I'm not scared of volcanoes no more. It didn't even break through. It made the lava do a backflip. Bulletproof glass, okay. Oh my God, that's thick. I don't think it's going through it, bro. Uh, maybe lava is not nothing we should worry about. You feel what I'm saying? Like if Yellowstone Park, if the mount, if the volcano really blew up, I don't think there's nothing to worry about. Just get some bulletproof glass. Make some houses out of bulletproof glass. You'll be straight. Oh, that glass, that looks so satisfying. I'm not, oh, look at the way it pops. Did something get through? Oh, it's crawling through. Oh, it's crawling through. Well, but it didn't get through, so now I know if yellow if they try to threaten Yellowstone Park, bro, just get a house out of bulletproof glass and you're straight. There's nothing to worry about, man. Thousand degree night versus some soap. I can tell who won. Okay, so now we have the same night versus a ping pong ball, because we know that's gonna do better. Yep, it didn't stand a chance. Yeah, I don't even know why you tried it. Now we have that same night versus a block of cheese, and yep, right through it. Right through it, no comp. No comp, bro. Where's the competition at? Now we have that knife versus sticky notes and... Yeah. Yeah, fire versus paper. Oh, oh, it's actually resisting a little bit, though. Hold up. Hold up, sticky notes are stronger than I thought they were. Okay, sticky notes are comp? Now we have that knife versus some Coca-Cola because we know Coca-Cola is one of the strongest things on earth. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yep. Oh, it, it, it's putting up a fight, though. That cap is strong. I don't know what that cap is made. And now we're down to the plastic. Yep. Yep. Hey, but can you get to the whole body? Hey, be, be careful with your hand there. I don't know how human skin is with a thousand a thousand degree knife now. You know, the, the Coke did pretty good. Like, it, it held up the halfway. It did pretty good. Now we have that knife going through the trampoline. It kind of like a shark in the water. I don't know why you wasting a perfectly good trampoline, but hey, you do you. RIP Sharpies, man. RIP Sharpies. Can we give the Sharpies a moment of silence, please? Thank you. Baby Bell. And we cutting right through it, man. Oh, but the sizzle. The sizzling is magnificent. Ooh. We have a thousand degree night versus some perfect, perfectly good chocolate, man. Oh my God, it's so wasteful, man. Kinda like a hot dog at the top. A, a little burnt, a little burnt, but it still looks somewhat delicious. I'm not mad at it. Thousand degree night versus that egg. Does at least, does at least uh, uh, scramble the egg? Does it scramble it? Can you eat it afterwards? Oh no, that might just be edible. Let me give it a try. This man is literally cooking an egg on a thousand degree knife and he has no gloves on. He's just using the eggshells in his raw hands. <clears throat> That's Caucasian behavior. And look at it, bro. It looks perfectly delicious and edible. I could eat that right now. So now we have the thousand degree knife versus a brick of cocaine or what he's calling dry ice. Like, bro, I am not falling for that. That is coke. So now we have lava versus a perfectly good car. I don't understand where people are finding this just lava in their backyard, but I guess it's homemade. Yep, yep. Someone could have used this car, I think, maybe. Probably not, since they're putting lava on it, but. Hey, 
it's just a windshield though that means if your car gets hit by lava on the windshield you might still be able to drive for a little bit before things get tragic hurdle versus shredder what the fuck is happening here oh okay Okay, so we're not throwing the turtle in there. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, what are you saying? The tortoise shells are bought online and can be used for testing. Oh. Okay. Sure. Are right, how are you gonna convince me that you didn't just take the yank the turtle out of his tail? Not only leading it to bleed out, but die? I because that's what I think you did. My bad, tortoise, not turtle. Okay, how how good is the shell versus the shredder? Hold up. It's putting up a fight. Hold up, okay. Ooh. Hold up, it's at Oh, that's strong as hell. Oh, okay, crack. But it's not going for it. Until you force it, bro. That would have been the turtle. I mean tortoise, chat. That would have been the tortoise. Moment of silence for that shell. Thank y'all for the moment of silence. Okay, we're having an epic so showdown. Lava versus Shredder, two of the most strongest, deadliest thing on this planet. Well, actually, as, as we saw earlier, lava isn't that scary per se. As you can see, as you can see, a little bit of glass is taking is taking on a lava. So, what do you think uh, metal is gonna do? It's not doing nothing to the metal, bro. Lava's overrated. Lava's overrated. This is not scary one bit. It is kind of oh, it is kind of satisfying though. This is clean. Oh my god. Why does lava look so good? Okay, so now we have the dry lava though. And it gets demolished, yep. Yep. I don't even know if that's called dried lava, but it sure as hell is not solid. Okay, Shredder versus Pencils, yep, that's light. That's light, give it a competitor. Crayons, okay, crayons are a little tougher. You know what, crayons might just withstay in the Shredder. Now that I think about it, like, come on now. Like, you didn't have a chance, bro. Yeah, that's that's what it, that's what I expected to look like all the leftovers. One crayon got through though. Yo, this crayon, this crayon came out unscathed. It has a crazy battle story that's going to tell its children in the future. Oh my god, I can't wait to hear his story, bro. Is this a diamond? Shredder versus diamond? Is he going to one of the hardest minerals in the world? Who, who wins? Oh, this diamond's eating it up. Oh, this diamond's eating it up. Oh, and yep, okay, now it's done. Now it's, no, it's still, it's still toughing it out. It's eating it. Yeah, eat that, eat that. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Don, I think the diamond's too good for it. Diamond. Oh. I mean, he's still he's still going in strong though. It just abated all smoke because it knew when to run. That's such a smart diamond, bro. After about five minutes of trials and tribulations, re-putting the diamond in there, it looks like it's finally it's finally done for. The diamond fought hard as hell. Give it up for the diamond, man. Give it up for the diamond. See, look, it, it roughed up the shredder. The shredder was taking those. If it was one-on-one, -on -one, one single shred versus a diamond, bro, I think the diamond wins it.